What's up guys? Today, I know these line-out converter videos aren't the most exciting, but it's just about getting information out there. So I'm going to make this short and sweet. We're checking out two line-out converters, and we're going to show there is a difference between them. So let's just get right to it. And both of these are really inexpensive. They're around $20. So um, I'm going to show you you know which one is one of the best budget line out converters and the worst line out oh. converters and I think you'll be shocked to see which one is actually better but let's get to it so first we're gonna verify we got a clean signal <clears throat> coming out of the head unit before we do the testing on the LOCs All right, so we got over six and a half volts. That was not distortion, that was just the sine wave shutting off. So six and a half volts coming out of the head unit. So let's, uh, let's get the Skosh LOC2SL hooked up and see what it does. Okay, we got the Skosh LOC2SL hooked up. Now let's see the signal we get distortion right off the bat solid distortion and it only put out 1.1 volts <clears throat> and just to make the video short I already adjusted the levels on here and I couldn't get it any better so fully distorted and I checked it with a voltmeter as well <clears throat> it was putting out a signal even though this meter wasn't reading yet it was just too low distortion started at 0.1 volt all the way up to 1.1 so this is a, I hate to say it, but a terrible line out converter and it's pretty much useless. If you have it, chuck it quick. All right, now let's get to the recoil. All right, so now we got the recoil QLOCD hooked up. Um, I just wanted to note that this also has a clip indicator, which is nice. So if you're going to... Um, before you hook it up to your amp, you can just run a the stereo or a test tone and set the output right here, which is this little silver knob, and set it to where you know that your amplifier is not getting a clipped signal. So that's a super cool feature on this one I like. Um, and then it also does RCAs and low level inputs, but let's get to it. So the Skosh was distorted the whole time and only got up to 1.1 volts. So already it's better. So seven over seven volts clean signal for under twenty bucks with a clip indicator, high low inputs. You can't beat it. This is pr my favorite line out converter for the money. Whoa. So if you guys are looking for one, grab them. Um, it's cheap. It's quality, you know, recoil stuff, you know, it's affordable, but it's good quality stuff. Everything I've tested of theirs so far has been very good. So that's definitely, in my opinion, the best budget line out converter. And actually, I think it's $17.99 right now. I'll put a link below, an Amazon link, if you guys are interested in buying it. Um, as tempting as it is to get one of these with a base knob and it's obviously you see that it's worthless I feel bad for anybody buying these and hooking it up to their system when they're getting just a distorted signal the whole time it's pretty sad and I feel bad so I just wanted to get that out there so if you guys have a cheap one get rid of it just go spend 18 bucks and get one of these and you know you're good and then you know that way your your amps not gonna fry getting a clip signal distorted signal the whole time and your stuff's gonna sound better so all right guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks so much for watching I tried to keep this one short so please like and subscribe thank you guys so much until next time